Hello everyone, my name is Eileen. I am from Miss Petal and Bloom and today I'm going to show you how I make my crepe paper peonies. Okay, so first things first is we need our petal template and if you have bought a kit from me, I will have already printed this out for you. You just need to cut it out and then we are ready to get started. Um, for me, I usually like to print on cardstock so that it's thicker and more sturdy. So with this template, I'm going to go ahead and cut out my petals. Um, I like to do an accordion fold technique when cutting so that I can squeeze as many petals as I can on a single strip of Italian crepe paper. All right. Now you can see I'm actually cutting six petals at one go. Um, this can be a little bit ambitious. And um, you know, if you are someone new to Italian crepe paper, um, feel free to cut a smaller stack or just cut the petals out individually one by one. Um, I just do the accordion fold technique really to save time because I'm pretty lazy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to proceed to cut all my 18 petals. Okay, and um, for you, if you are new, again, please take your time. There's no rush in this. Um, enjoy the process. Okay. So the second step after cutting our petals is to curl our petals. And with, for curling, we actually need a curling tool. So I like to use a thick marker with a rounded surface. All right, this is what I'm going to use to actually create nice curls at the tip of my petal. So how I do this, I get a stack of petals. I kind of press the tip of the petals around my curling tool and that's it, right? That's all it is. Um, it's really easy. I'm just kind of applying pressure at the tip, uh, making a circle around that um, marker, all right? Around that um, curved edge. And when I let go, the curl should remain intact, all right? So that's how um, curled it should be. It shouldn't be too curled, like it shouldn't be, you know, a whole entire circle, just a nice kind of like, almost like a rattlesnake head, that, that should look fine. Okay, so I'm just going to proceed to call the rest of my petals. <laughs> so um, fun fact, while filming this video, because I actually film and record the voiceovers separately, I totally forgot to call those two petals in the middle there. I totally missed those out. So um, don't worry, I'm going to catch back up to that. In a, while, in a minute, but now I'm going to move on to cupping. All right, so cupping basically means I'm going to stretch the petals, all right, until they, became, they become a nice concave shape. So something that looks like this, all right. Um, cupping is actually, I, I find it hard to describe it in words because it's something that you kind of need to experience and try out for yourself to understand what it's like. But um, I guess one tip I have for you is to, you know, just be brave. Don't be afraid of the paper. Just go for it because um, I think um, crepe paper is rather malleable. So um, you, you can think of it kind of like molding, almost like you're, you know, um, you're working with Play-Doh and you're kind of molding a curved petal shape from that paper, all right? So don't stress over um, what kind of shape you produce too much, all right? Just um, really have fun, have fun with it, you know? Let your, your fingers get used to the cupping process. And as long as your petals look like curved, you know, three-dimensional petals, I'm sure your peony will look good, all right? So the goal is to really just have that nice curved, um, shape, curved concave shape to your petals, and then you should be good to go. Okay, so that's me cupping all my petals. And then the next step is to work on our stamen. So I'm going to stretch uh, a strip of yellow crepe, which should be about 22 cm by 5 cm. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm stretching it so that I have more surface area to work with. And I'm folding it in a quarter so that I can actually fringe it quicker. Now, fringing basically means I'm cutting thin strips right along the entire length of my stamen. So we want to kind of be consistent. Um, the width of each strip kind of really depends on you. And um, do remember to leave kind of like a gap at the bottom. You know, don't cut your strips all the way down because that that bottom part is where we're going to apply glue to um in, in order for it to actually stick to our wire 
So just cut about three quarters of the way down, okay? And because we folded it in the beginning, what I like to do is to, um, after I go through that length, just open it up again and go back and check in case you missed out any portions, right? So I'm just trimming it and making sure they all look pretty consistent. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm, I'm going to leave that to a side and I'm going to bring in my wire. I am using a thick number 18 plurus wire. And because I'm afraid of this tip of the wire showing, I am actually just going to quickly cover it with some scrap um, yellow crepe paper. All right, you can just find um, any random piece of crepe, uh, yellow crepe and just wrap it roughly around the tip. It doesn't have to be very neat because we are essentially going to wrap our stamen all around this covered tip. So it's going to be hidden, um, pretty much hidden anyways. Now I'm going to get my hot glue gun and I'm going to start slowly gluing on my stamen, wrapping it around the covered portion of my florist wire. Now I am using hot glue, but um, if you don't have hot glue, you, you can use um, just ordinary white craft glue. But I do recommend that you know you just be very careful with it. Don't use too much of it because um, white craft glue tends to make the paper soggy. And because it takes a long period of time to dry, all right, you really want to use as little glue as possible. All right? Otherwise, you, you're, you're just going to wait forever for the glue to dry. All right, so now we are going to start gluing on our petals. This is the fun part. I just apply glue at the bottom of my petal and I just plop it right onto my stamen. Okay, now the fun part of this is um, kind of creating layers because peonies are known for being so fluffy, having multiple layers. So first layer, I only have three, all right? Three petals to make one round. And then the next layer, I'm actually going to make um, I'm going to use five petals to create that circle because once we, you know, start um, adding layers, that circle is actually going to get bigger. So the first layer has to be three and the second layer, we're going to make it bigger and use five. Now you can see I'm actually going in a specific direction. I'm going clockwise. Um, you can do it anti-clockwise. It's totally up to you, but I would recommend just keeping it consistent throughout your layers. Okay, and as you can see, when I work with a hot glue gun, I can work really very fast. I don't have to hold a petal in place for a long time, waiting for it to dry. I just plop it on and move on. Okay, so that's three and that's five. So eight petals so far. I have 10 more petals to go, five for each layer. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to plop some glue on, stick it right behind. Okay. Now something that I would like to um, explain, okay, as I'm gluing on the petals is that you want to try to um, kind of glue your petals in such a way that they are not back to back. I call this kind of like the window technique. You want to go in between the petals in front of you. All right, so for example, these two petals, okay, uh, I want to kind of aim for the middle of them where they intersect rather than right behind that one petal because the goal for us is to create volume is to make it fluffy okay so we do want to avoid gluing petals back to back always aim for the windows or the part where the earlier petals intersect okay so here we go last few petals i'm just going to quickly plop them on really quick and easy and we are done so here we go very fluffy so many layers so many petals just full of fluff and you can always go back and adjust your petals when you look from um, you check from the top down view okay and there you have it now we're just um we just have one more step to go. I'm going to show you how I glue on the sepals or to make the calyx, which just refers to the underside of the flower because we really want to kind of um, connect that really heavy flower head and reinforce it with the wire stock. So with green crepe paper, just cut out some long thin triangles 
Um, I recommend them to be about six centimeters tall. And usually I just need about five triangles, all right? Because um, I like my calyx to be like a star, like a five-sided star. So just five triangles should be sufficient. And I'm going to take my um, peony back. I'm going to position it <laughs> face down, all right? It should be able to balance like this. Okay, and then I'm going to use my hot glue and start gluing on the triangles, making sure that I cover both the wire and the petals, all right? Because again, we are reinforcing this flower head. It is really big and heavy. We want to give it all the extra um, support required. So the calyx is really just a way for us to give it additional support. So I'm making sure I glue both the wire and the petals when I am gluing on my calyx. Um, this will also ensure that, you know, there aren't any holes poking through. I'm trying to cover up as much as I can. You know, the underside of the flower can be a little bit ugly, so the calyx really just helps to cover any of the unsightly bits. So there we have it, the calyx is done. I just like to pull it out a little bit, like pull it backwards, so that from the side view, you can actually see it kind of popping out, like it has a more naturalistic feel. And that's about it. That is your completed peony. All right. I hope you are happy with your flower. Um, and let me just clear some of the glue strings. Now, you might find that you have extra green crepe if you have purchased a kit from me because the calyx doesn't require much crepe. So you can always make your own leaves. Otherwise, I also think that without leaves, this, these peonies look pretty cute just by itself especially if you bundle three of them together like this okay you can hold them in place using a rubber band using ribbon um or you can follow me for this sample here um i found some synthetic um foliage all right uh you can just get them from your two dollar store and i just use florist tape and i kind of stuck all of them together in a bundle like that all right, so that's really cute. Um, you can just plop that into a vase and you will have a completed arrangement. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I really hope everyone stay safe, stay healthy, and keep blooming.